Welcome back to Pesticide Not Required, and today we are playing Blotty, <laughs> a really weird character. So every single time we occupy a farm plot, we gain 2% fishing yield and mining yield. As you can see, it's already bumped up quite a bit. Now, the first time I played him, and yes, this is the second attempt, I was like, wow, that's insanely easy, right? The plants don't grow, I just get a huge amount of bonus gold and bonus experience, and the moment I wanted to plant weapons, realization struck. How do we plant weapons? Right? I think about it. They don't grow. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We need to have... Oh, that's good. What we need to have is, we need to have crop growth speed a little bit and then plant them. But also, because of the nature of this character that we don't really want to harvest stuff, we kind of have to do the weapons like in waves. So you can see they still grow a little bit, but it's not a lot. Instead of doing them like... Every single wave, I think, what we want to do is we want to do them in big, chunky waves. That is good. So what that will cause is that we don't have to go near the crops all too often and harvest or water them. But instead, we just, like, for example, wait a few rounds and we have 10 of the seeds. We blend all of them, harvest all of them, and then the next time, um, yeah, we, we don't destroy all of the stuff, right? That sounds good. Bonus damage 50% this early. Ooh! So my theory is the following. What I want to do is... Okay, we quickly need a lot of gold. In fact, I'm... Do I want to wait for more gold? Now, nah, let's just get going. So, my theory is we want to have as many different weapons as possible. The Toad Oil Seed. Nah, you're not it. You're not it. So we want to have this. Um, let's roll once. Okay, balls are fine. We would take one ball. We take one of the mower blades. Then we need enough seeds to cover the entire thing, and I guess we take another one of you then. Okay, we want to have pets that do not interact with seeds at all, but at the same time we would like to have the toucan. It's not the toucan anymore, right? Because I have a skin, yeah. But we want to have a pet that plants the seeds, at least. Like, that we don't have to get anywhere close to it. Another 50% damage, that sounds good, that means we are super strong. So weapons tend to grow very fast, that means I expect the water sign to appear any moment. Hopefully, we have two big uh, fish, by the way, here. So I would like to have them before we harvest anything per accident. Do I do have additional seeds? Yeah, that's a meme, I just decreased you like crazy. Oh, knockback per resistance. I don't really care about that yet. I will actually go for this one. Getting cheaper shops in a moment where everything seems to be more complicated, I think is the right choice. Oh, wow. Oh, fish spawns. Yeah, so my goal is we want to mainly focus on fishing. Also, this one is good, but we want to mainly focus on fishing. Then we make sure we at least have the experience gain, since, well, we won't be able to harvest anything. Now, what we could do is we could straight up just harvest the stuff, right? It's not, it's not like a punishment, as in... We could do it, we don't lose anything, we still gain the experience, but what we lose is the yield on the other things, right? So, it's possible, but at the same time I don't really want to do it. Okay, that works out beautifully well. So my goal now is, get as much gold as possible that we can stock up on seeds. Early on the shops are super cheap, and that means we could just buy a huge amount of fields if we just don't go to the shop. Like, we could wait here straight up. Okay, it doesn't look like I can find more stuff right now, so I'll just go back up to the shop and buy things. Now, do I want to get more fields right now? Attacks the enemies. Mm, the question is, do I roll here once? Well, but uh, it's actually really good to have that pet. No, I'll take it. It's fine. It's fine. You will be good to walk through the enemies. Okay. So these are the weapons that we have right now. We will have the scythe as a fourth weapon. Do I just go for the beam? The beam is not bad. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll also get the twin scythe again. Okay. And now would be the time where we wait... Oh, I don't know how many seeds I have is the issue. I'll just say that I have enough seeds. So let's buy this again and let's max out on these seeds and let's hope... How do I plant them without picking up the other seeds? Oh, I might have miscalculated this entire thing. It's okay. That means I'll do it towards the end of the day. Mm, yeah. Yeah, no, I think we'll be fine, hopefully. The issue is the enemies. We are playing on Winter 4. Okay, so it's the hardest difficulty. The enemies, they scale up very quickly. And you quickly end up just dying. Wait, do we have mining speed at all? We have no mining speed, but I can definitely use it in the future. Or, I think I'll go for the ore spawns. Like, right now, which we need to get going. It's the most important thing. If we ever fall behind, if we stop growing seeds, or stuff like that happens, we are out of the game. Attack frequency? That sounds insane. Yeah, let's go for that. I have to make sure that I'm actually strong enough to deal with the enemies. Okay, but it's planting time. Yeah, and this means I will harvest a bunch of stuff. But that's... Whoa. 
I have no knockback, right? I have 25% knockback. Wait a second. Yes, let's go. <laughs> this means I can pick up all of the knockback as I please. So let's walk through this. I think most of the stuff wasn't watered, so we may be able to fill up the entire thing again. Okay. This is actually... I, I need a planter. I need a planter, animal. Okay, there's more experience from the apples. That's still good. Keep that in mind. Very important. Are we dealing with the enemies right now? I would say right now we are fine because we have so many different weapons that there are just no issues that could happen here. <gasps> okay, that's huge. That is really huge. What I would like to do now is, do I just quickly want to do the weapons? You know what? I'll actually walk around. I'll get the gold here. And then we go over, pick up the weapons on the next day. E yes. Or do I delay this entire thing? So what I mean is, right now, we have no force to go to the shop right away. Like, the next day starts, the shop is still there, we can do it. So I think I'll wait before I destroy some of the fields, you know, that we get full experience here. Perfect. And now we go over and buy. More attack frequency minus damage. I think I'll actually go for the swift swings here. Just gotta make sure that we keep up with the enemies. I will pick up some seeds here, but that's okay. The boomerang is also a good weapon. So I think that is... Is that the fifth weapon? Wait, didn't I have the water beam? And then I had another one, right? The scythe, yeah. Wait, that's a little bit weird now <laughs> that it still offers that. Okay, let's buy these seeds. We'll buy another field. I think I can afford another field. And then we do this. Let's go. So we have to walk over the field now. And I'll make sure to grow everything before we continue. That we get the most amount of bonuses. Okay. Do I have the entire field planted? Yes. The main question is right now. Where do I have my weapons? Up there. Dex, there was a great position. Just in the middle of the field are all of my weapons. Doesn't matter. We'll do it at the end of this day. Same story again. Same strategy that we had. But I need to get a lot of money. As long as I have enough money, I can always buy all the seeds. And honestly, then it doesn't matter if I accidentally harvest them, because I'll just spend the moment to replant them. Apple spawns. Effectiveness to future fishing yield. Ooh, that's huge. You know what would be hilarious? If there was like a bug in the game where, because we go down when we harvest, we don't lose the bonus on it, you know, on the bonuses that we just got. And it would just keep increasing and increasing and increasing over time. That would be kind of funny. Yeah, I'll take the damage though. So, everything is planted. How do I get in here easily? The answer is, <laughs> I don't. Do I harvest 20 weapons? I easily harvest 20 weapons. It's kind of bad to do that right now, right before the shop, but I think I can afford it. Fishing speed and... Oh, we don't have a lot to water. I really need to find a better strategy with the weapons, you know, to do this, that I can harvest them. And I'll wait again for a moment until we have all of the weapons. There we go. Damage and attack frequency sounds good. Please tell me they can move through the enemies, because if they can't, I have no idea how to survive that. Okay, we have balls here. They are usually a very reliable weapon, but I think I want to go for the twin scythes. I'll go for one more field, and now we buy the entire stock on this. That was beautiful. Now I'll try to rotate around to the very bottom, because this is where the new field is, and then I can plant the six weapons there. Okay, like this, perfect. Oh my god, big brain moves, big brain moves, as long as the enemies don't kill me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we are fully planted, but to be honest, I'll not walk around and check it out. We'll just get, get going here with the gold and with the fishing yield. Nice. What are our stats right now on the 232% fishing yield? Are you kidding me? Wait, do you understand how much that is? Oh, that is nice, yeah. Wait, but do you understand how much that is? That is such an insane amount. We are on day 5 right now. Like, I think if you can properly get this going and everything works out, even though it's so stressful, this character might be insanely strong. And if I can get the Tukan here that lands for me... No! Okay. Another attacker, that's okay. That's fine. Now, one thing I have to do is I have to harvest the weapons to get a cheaper shop. So let's go down here and water them. Yeah, that's really not what I wanted to do. It's okay... It's okay. Yeah, sure. Just keep saying that to yourself, Dex. Maybe one day you'll actually believe it. Fishing spawns. Good. Huge amount of gold, by the way. Let's get... No, I'll not get the raccoon. So, is it scythe time again? What level are you? Three. The scythe can easily kill all of the enemies, so I'll do that. We have the planter. We have the planter. Guys. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, let's go. So we are doing well right now. Uh, yeah, I say that and that moment after I get flooded. Is the scythe planted? Five. Dude, you're way too slow. I'm sorry. I have to I have to quickly go here and help him. 
The dude is falling asleep or something. That is huge. Because we... Well... Hmm, well... It's not bad, okay? It's not huge, actually. Huge would be if you land a lot of crops, which we don't really do. Apple spawns minus water capacity, crop yield. I think I can do better than that. Attack frequency, projectile speed. Future- Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. But we still have to be careful. Keep that in mind. I need go- no, I have a huge amount of gold. What? Where is that coming from? I mean, I'll not complain about it. I'm happy about that. Uh, can we mine that, please? I have to water the weapons, is the thing. And I think this will actually max out the scythe, so I would really like to focus on that right now. Okay. And it would also be good to get the bonuses on mining and fishing. You know there's one, the more you mine it, the more stuff you get out of it. Uh, I'll actually go for the experience here. I'm a little bit greedy. Hopefully I won't get punished for it. Right now it looks fine, because the scythe is carrying me. Okay, the scythe is finished. Please tell me this is enough to take... It's not even close, right? Yeah, it's not even close. Never mind. So we still need a little bit more on the scythe. We kind of destroyed that boss there, though. Yes! Yes, yeah. Don't get the water... Well, I'm wondering... Is it good to go for the watering, maybe? Damage per health? I have no health. Yeah, let's not do that. You know, just that they get... Perfect. Just that they get everything ready for me, and then I walk by and harvest it, and I don't have to be concerned about issues. Mm, honestly, I feel like the mower blade here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you already have all of the fields. Like, that is kind of insane. So, I think I'll roll here once. That was so worth it. We got super cheap seeds in comparison. Okay, you guys are planting. Now, the moment we see they are done planting... Actually, I have to clear some of the field, right? To get the weapons in. Because I don't know if there are enough spots for it. I don't think there were enough spots, yeah. Apple spawns per day, nice. As you may notice, I'm kind of all over the place because my brain is like, don't walk over the crops because you don't want to touch them. And then it's like, wait, you actually need to touch the crops. Go back and do it. And I'm like, ah, brain, what do I do? <laughs> Why do you keep screaming different things? <laughs> Just stick to one plan. But at the same, like, I think there are multiple ways to do that. And you kind of have to combine these multiple things to probably make it work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The moment this weapon stops attacking, I have a problem, actually. Okay, okay, this is looking good. This is looking very good. Oh, knockback. Don't we get attack speed out of that? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Like, the faster I attack, the more reliable my weapons will become. Talking about that, I almost just died. I'll actually go for the health here. I think I may need it in the near future. Oh, no, I need, I need a water pad. I need a water pad. As stupid as it sounds, I can't just come back and then pick out the weapons, you know, and, and attempt to water them. That just doesn't work. So, what is our gold looking like? We actually have a huge amount of gold, Jesus. So, I want to harvest the weapons to get a reduced shop before we do anything else. Okay, let's do that. The pets will sadly... You're maxed out? Perfect. The pets will sadly plant stuff, so that means it will be harder to plant my weapons. But I think this is fine, right? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. More mower blade, perfect. The shop is getting quite expensive though. So, let's see. We have 10 mower blades right now. Eight. Apple spawns, knockback, attack speed, and apple spawns. Perfect, yeah. Let's see. We have eight. How much does this go down? Oh, don't die. Don't die. As you may notice, I'm a little bit scared here. <laughs> no, not just a little bit. So, what do I need mostly right now? Mmm, 288.5% fishing yield, this is so insane. This doesn't even make a big difference. Max health and resistance may help me the most right now. Like, I, I feel like we will be completely busted and broken if we can just survive this for a little bit longer. Okay, there are my weapons down here. They have no weapons planted, I just realized. Oh no, I have to walk over this, okay. So what is the best pet that we could get out of this? Either a collector or a waterer, I think. Yeah, I think I have determined that I need someone to water the plants for me. Just that when I come by, I can quickly collect the stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Knockback is attack speed, attack size, pickup range. I actually don't want that. I think I'll go for the knockback and attack speed at the same time. That should be able to carry me a little bit. I have 20 minutes left on this day. What am I doing? Why am I getting stuck in the enemies? Okay. Ooh, there's a big fish. Can I get this dude before the boss gets to me? I don't think so. No, I couldn't. But I will come back and get it. I had seen an apple down there. I have to somehow push through. There's the apple. That's no healing at all. 
Well, that's completely useless, huh, isn't it? Yeah, so now is the next day. That means now it's time to water and collect as much as we can. You're a little bit late, I'm sorry. I'll not take you. That's an investment of two levels that you need to get, and it, it's just way too much. Okay, we got everything water that is weapons. That's good. That means now plants the seeds for me. I have to roll, right? There's, there's no other way. No, oh, the snow bunny is so cute, but I need... I'll take him because otherwise I don't have money left to buy more seeds. And the last thing I want is ever running out of money. Wait, I have to blend stuff first before I do that. Okay, piercing is very nice. Man, I feel so close to just being able to steamroll the enemies. Like, I, I think we are really, really, really close to doing this, but we are not quite there yet. Like, the moment a new wave spawns, it may just overwhelm me. Though, I gotta say, the Scythe is doing serious work right now. Like, even on the boss, look at this. Watch this, wait when it starts there. Yeah. We already have it, maybe. Water's plans for you, finally. <laughs> okay, I'm happy. Hey, little Salamander. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Are we still planting anything? No, that means I want to harvest a bit. Attack duration, attack frequency. I think I'll go for that. Yeah, I want to harvest a bit that the weapons can be planted. So let's do this. I'll just quickly run over. There we go. Okay. What is the blender for the rest of this? Loot means I get a lot more money, but I, th I want to do better than that. Minus crop yield is fine. Yeah. Didn't really do better with that, but it's okay. Uh, apple spawns, movement speed sounds very good. So what is currently our percent? 288.5%. I don't think we can exceed that. Yeah, that's too late. Is it too late? Actually, no, it's not. Okay, but do I really need more money? Uh, it, it, it doesn't really hurt. Like, we lose a little bit of damage, but that's manageable. Yeah. <gasps> Fishing speed when a fish is caught. Finally, that took way too long to get. This is something you want to have as early as possible. And we are right now on day 9. But it's okay. You know, we can still stack it up quite quickly. And look at our level right now. We actually have a very decent level. And keep in mind, we have a huge amount of bonuses whenever we fish something. So the faster we can do that, the more this will get amplified. And I think also did we have mining increase or something? I really thought we had the upgrade that when I mine, I get bonus stats on the fishing, but I don't have that. I think I'll just roll. This one is not bad. Oh my god, that is so good. <laughs> okay, focus on fishing. Issue is we don't have a lot of fishing spots. That means focus on fishing spawns. Yeah, okay. And now it's time to harvest again. There are my plans. This, this will be good. This will be really good. Like, all of this should be grown. Unless my animals were a bit lazy with watering. Never mind then. Okay. Crop yield and apple spawns. Apple spawns and attack speed. Perfect. And yes, it says knockback, but we know it gets, uh, gets converted, right? So, let's relax here for a moment. Uh, we just need more of that. More of that. As much as we can. Um, I'm actually getting overwhelmed. Should I turn off the damage numbers? Nah, the damage numbers are cool, you know? They make it really hard to see anything, and that's cool. These two are maxed out. Good. I think now is the time to go for the water beams. Mmm, yeah. I like to upgrade the balls to make them more powerful, but at the same time, it's like, do we really need them here to win? Like, right now at least? I don't think they'll be able to really protect me. So, how fast are they planting stuff? Are they just falling asleep? Everything is planted. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, how is that even possible? More spawns? That's what I wanted. Let's make a quick analysis of how it's going. We have 100% experience gain. That is insane. 333% fishing yield. Oh wow. If we get the conversion from yield to speed. That is what I'm missing. There is like something in the game that converts that over. I have to hard roll for that, right? I mean... We are on day 10. Do I really have to do anything? Like, right now, I should just solidify the win, like, to make sure that this ends in a win, and not, like, busy myself with other stuff. But I still need to make sure we get all of the weapons, yeah. I never thought I would end up saying this, but I need a waterer so badly. Like, really badly. I will max you out. Okay, this should put it easily to level... Well, maybe not easily, but it should put it to level 5. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> we have 15 more seeds of that, and we are getting nowhere close to planting them, huh? Yeah. Experience gain this late. It's still nice. We're level 51 right now, which to be honest for day 11 is a very solid level So let's try to get as many weapon upgrades as possible. That's good There's still so many unwatered. Are all the weapons planted now? 
Come on, I walked over this. My pet must be doing something. What is the water doing? <laughs> He's not doing anything. <laughs> it's like, yes, the best thing to do for me would be to just stay close and water stuff. But it's actually not the best thing. Because, like, we only do that to get more yield out of fishing and mining. Like, what's the point if I stay there and help them? If I then don't do the main thing we are supposed to do, correct? Correct? You understand that? That was also okay. But just okay. This is a really tight talent... Uh this is a really tight uh, balancing. This is a really tight. Uh, this is a really tight balancing act between. <laughs> I need to, you know, get my weapons upgraded, but just enough that I can still walk around. But at the same time, we have to kill the enemies because otherwise I die. You know what? Alex should take care of the boss right now. Yeah, I think I can do that. Come on, come on, just a little bit more. I need a waterer. I or collector. Collector is also okay. What do we get? Oh, really? Okay, wait, do I need a collector? Actually, no. I, I do, well, it would be helpful to gather the apples for me, to get me, give me experience, but, like, we don't really need one. Like, it's not mandatory. Yeah, this is fine. Max health per resistance. I don't have a lot of resistance, and I all honestly don't really need the max health. Yeah, we'll just go for the damage here. This would also be okay, but it <laughs> makes it even harder to do anything in this game. Because we can't keep up with that either way with the watering. Okay, so I will quickly fish all of this. And then we'll go back to the shop. I think this will be one of our final purchases. Because look at the amount of seeds we have. I don't really have to get more of them. Really? This late? I mean, it's fine. I really hope my stuff is still growing though. Because we just decreased it even further. Okay, we have a penguin. Plants the seeds for you. I honestly don't care. And I care so little that I will just ignore that. And I'll try to get a good pet. Okay, um, <laughs> really? <laughs> I, uh, we got two of them at least. I saw the dude like four times in there. Crop crop speed during the day. Now that still sounds horrible. I don't think I want that. Like it sounds logical kind of to go for it, like to still max out the speed. But at the same time, I don't think we want that. Okay, you're maxed out. Now you're giga chunky. <sighs> I, uh, guys, I think we guarantee got this. Like, I don't think there's a way for the enemies to still take me down. Well, looking at this, though, at the same time, I'm kind of getting pushed in a lot. It's so cool how the apples synergize in this game with, like, your game plan. Like, in the very beginning, apples were pretty much just, oh, yeah, I get a little bit of health. Like, cool, wow, amazing. And now it's like, I need as many apples as possible for bonus experience. Coin gain per crit damage, don't care. Damage and attack size and enemy spawns? Wait, I actually need money right now, so that's not bad to get that. Maybe I should also decrease the crop first. I'll just do that. You know what? Let's do that. Yeah. Less watering means it will be a little bit easier. There is a lot of stuff planted, but I don't think a lot of stuff is ready. Now, the good thing is the weapons only need to be watered once. That means if I am not there and they keep watering, then it should be very likely that all the weapons are watered. Except for obviously the ones that we see. It actually looks like a lot of the weapons were not watered. Okay, nice. More damage. Bouncy balls. You get plus two amount. I will just try to get as much amount on that as possible. And now we are still looking for spawns. Yep, that's good. Perfect. This one just got water. That means it will take a moment. But I think we'll actually max out the balls here. Wait, let me quickly see. Okay, I... I can you just grow? I think it grew. Oh, level four. Okay, so we need like ten more level ups in them. Five, five. And the rest is you. And the rest will just be seeds. There we go. How many seeds do we have? We have a lot of seeds. Oh, we are doing so good with this. Mining when... Oh, we, oh there, there was the fishing yield when... Oh, Yeah, these are the type of things you want to have really... Why are the enemies so fast? Um, This is fine, right? It's just a little bit laggy. Water plants for you. Per two? Two! Yes! How are we doing... Um... Why is this getting so close? I don't like this. <laughs> Stop that. I really don't like this. <laughs> Are they still planting stuff? Don't tell me they planted all of the stuff without fully planting the weapons. You gotta be kidding me. Max health. I mean, do I really care about that? Uh, sure, sure. Do I have to walk over? I think I have to harvest some weapons here. Yeah, well, some, some crops, I mean, that the weapons can get planted. Knockback attack duration? Knockback is attack speed. I should have taken that way earlier. At the same time, we're... why are the weapons still not planted? What, what are you guys even planting for weapon for things? 
I thought they also prefer the weapons to blend them as animals, but I guess they don't. They only blend what is selected. Maybe? Or is just everything blended? Why did this turn so chaotic? Like, what is going on here? <laughs> I feel like I'm earning no money. This is good, though. But yeah, I feel like I'm really not earning any money. So let's do the mining. Let's actually check out how much do we get out of mining. We're at 7.7k right now. Okay, that sounds perfect. 7.7k. How much do we get out of this, this rock? Come on, hurry up. I, dude, I need to get going, please. How slow am I? Wait, what? It just got destroyed. I didn't get any money there. Wait, what? Huh? Did you... Um... Uh, okay. I think my balls are still planted, so let's do this instead. Um... What is happening? Did I under... Did I overestimate myself? Did I underestimate the enemies? Fishing yield when an ore is mined. Uh, yeah, that will not happen. This one... No. Well... Fishing yield when ore is mined. Nah, that's... Well, let's just do it. It's late, but if I mine a lot of ore now, then it will be a decent bonus. And keep in mind, we multiply that again. We actually... Ah, we are super slow at mining, never mind. It's horrible. Dude, the enemies are so insane. What is this? Do you know how strong I am? Wait, am I just super weak? Am I forgetting about something? I didn't max out my balls. The balls are taking revenge on me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Imagine now it turns super easy and we just, like, win. <laughs> that would be funny. Okay. Okay, Apple, nice. What did I do? How much speed did I give the enemies? Like, what did I what did I create here? Okay, we have all the weapons maxed out. That's nice. I need resistance. I need max health. I mean, max health is nice, but I mainly need resistance right now. Okay, this is not it. This is not it. Oh, no. Max health. I'll just take it. It's not great to lose speed on the main things we are doing. But we are on day 14. End of day 14. Like, this is a time where you really need to get going to finalize everything. We don't want to notice on the final day that we don't have enough damage. Um, I mean, I kind of have a lot of damage, though. Well, actually, we can't deal with bosses, but, sh like... We have damage. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, we have... Ugh, we don't crit pretty much is what that means. That means I want to take up stuff. But I could also just increase... Wait a second. How many... 257% apple spot? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. If you mess up everything, you just need to get lucky. Hey, 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 hey. That has to do with my level. Okay, because we have a lot of levels, we level up a lot, and then I roll a lot because... Okay. Okay. Um, the boss is getting pushed into me. I need to take care of the boss. Um, there are so many damage numbers, I don't even know what's going on. I could turn off the damage numbers, but that would be boring. We keep them on. We do this the manly... Did I kill the boss? I think I killed the other bosses. Okay, um, there's a chest here. What do I need? Attack the enemies. Okay, nice, 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 nice. We got this, we got this. We so got this, we so got this. This will be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I don't need a weapon to be blended, so to be honest, I don't care about the harvesting anymore at all. It would be a nice bonus, but let's just keep going. Let's slightly and very carefully attempt to push away from the enemies. Okay. There's more fishing done. What is our yield right now? 353% fishing yield, 119% fishing speed. Apple spawns are still giga high. What is our damage right now? Five... Wait. How do you have such insane stats, but it's still so difficult to do this? Okay, he finally died. I'm not gonna lie. That Apple one completely carried us here. Maybe we could have done it without it. I will actually increase that. Reason being, our weapons have crit chance built in. So even though we have negative crit chance, a lot of them will crit. And it will help us to have a little bit more damage. Yeah, let's even take more crit chance to deal with the negative effect we have right now. <sighs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We got this. We got this. I, I can't believe it. We actually got this. This must have been the most complicated character I've played so far. Like, by far. I'm not even sure if there's a more complicated character to balance this game. Like, you know, to get it going and everything. Wow. So we did it. We survived Winter 4. We won a run with Blotty. I'll be honest. Never again. <laughs>